Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tactics. Today, I got a show and tell, a little bit of a story. The AEG Olympia. This is an electric typewriter, the XL501. This was one of the last units that was made by AEG Olympia. This comes from 1990. The place closed down in 1991 or 1993. Depending on the information I can get. This is not a Japanese system. This is actually a German system. And their history goes back so far that they seem to have been... They seem to have started with the regular typewriters in 2000... Or sorry, 1903. They were actually part of the war effort in World War One. They used slave labor and they joined up with the Nazi party. Or threw their support towards them in World War Two. At the end of World War Two, they made restorations with uh, with other companies in the amount of uh, 17 million dollars so that's just the past that's just past history we can't really blame them for that too much i mean even ibm has been involved in some seriously bad things and uh no one's throwing shade their way eh so here we bring it up i gotta turn it on and i love turning these things on i love just watching that thing go There's just something romantic about that. Mm, I love it. I gotta turn it off and turn it back on so it can turn me on. Uh-oh, it's gonna blow. Oh my goodness, guys. She doesn't like working with her top off. She won't work with her top off, ladies. What is that? How? Oh, I have to find that out now. Maybe it's that. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna get my hand it. Ow! Ow, it bit me. She does not like working with her with her top off. That's for sure. And it bit me. I had it coming. There we go. Anyways, one of the things I love about this is the fact that it moves on its own. And if you're really quick at typing, you can you can be faster than it, and you have to wait for it to catch up. But the downside about that is that once it gets so far to the side. It won't just move down to the next line. No, no, you have to hit enter, and it will move over. So you could really screw up what you're doing. There is correctional tape in there, and that is the white tape on the inside, and that stuff's pretty neat. It is white out for your typewriter. And this is how we backspace. So what it does is it smashes the letter with some white out. So it keeps in its memory what I hit so that it can smash it out. Which is really freaking cool, especially for the time, 1990s. Yeah. So these type of electric typewriters are actually really popular in some uh, urban areas. A lot of people think it's really cool to be able to type up your letters on a typewriter is definitely a bit of a different world though. One thing I love about electric typewriters is they all seem to have their own carrying case. There's a lot to be said about that. There's a lot to be desired with that. But anyways, that is about it for me. I can't find much more information on it than what we have here listed on the back. But still, love me some electric typewriters. Come on, autofocus. There we go. XL105. Yep. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nav from Nav's Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. <laughs> always appreciate it, and as always, folks, take care of each other, right?